Dress watches are the new rage. Sports watches are losing some steam in the market. However, I still personally prefer sports watches. That's why spending thousands of dollars on a dress watch is not something I'm looking to do. This watch is awesome. It's very affordable, but it does have some big problems. Stick around, I'll let you know what those are. What makes this watch so cool is that for $338, you get a watch that has a beautiful dial and it has an automatic mono pusher complication. The watch is offered on a white Mother of Pearl dial in this dark gray dial variant. The watch case is constructed of 316L surgical grade steel, but it undergoes a hardening treatment, elevating the Vickers hardness from 200 HV to nearly 600 HV. The case measures in at 40 millimeters, however, including the crown, it's about 46.1 millimeters. From lug to lug is 49.8 millimeters, and the thickness with the AR sapphire crystal measures in at 14.1 millimeters. In between the lugs, it's 20 millimeters, the water resistance comes in at 50 meters, and the entire watch with the leather strap weighs in at 88 grams. Those are some respectable specs for the price. The case design is very rounded, and it almost mimics a pocket watch. We find polishing throughout, and that for me is a miss. I'm a huge fan of little details, therefore some brushing on some parts of the case would have elevated this watch that much more for me. The 7.3mm push and pull crown is easy to operate, but for some may look a little funny, as the crown does extend from the case almost 6mm, but there's a good reason for that, as the crown is how you set the month on the sub-register. The dial is the most impressive part about this watch. The light gray dial changes shades depending on the lighting and those applied Breguet style numerals are highly reflective and truly evoke a sense of elegance that's typically found in much more expensive watches. Not to mention the seconds hand and the small hands on the sub-registers have been heat blued. The details on a macro level are impressive to say the least. There's minimal writing on the dial such as the Baltani logo and Word Automatic. The 60 minute track with the smaller numerals around the dial really adds some symmetry and balance to the overall design. However, without a doubt the coolest party trick is a mono pusher. You see there's two sub registers. On the left, there's the days of the week that are controlled via the first position on the crown. And on the right, we find months of the year that are controlled by the button on the crown. For a watch of this price point, having this mono pusher feature is extremely cool. Interacting with the crown is fun and unlike your typical dress watch. On the back of the watch, there's a screwed-in sapphire display case back. That's a cool feature for anyone that's getting into watches, as watching the mechanics of the watch is romantic in a way. However, this particular movement, the Miyota 9122, is not very pretty, and I really think the company should have spent a little more time decorating the rotor. The caliber features weekday and month complications. You can wind the movement and also hack the seconds hand. The caliber beats at 28,800 beats per hour, has 26 joules, and a power reserve of approximately 40 hours. The 9000 Miyota caliber is a fan favorite, and it's very much in par with their Swiss counterparts, but for a fraction of the cost. The leather strap is not great. In fact, I would recommend you change it for something more premium. It does measure in at 20 millimeters, tapers down to 17 millimeters, and has the signed 316 L stainless steel buckle, and there's no quick release system. I mean, what you're really paying for is a watch head, not the leather strap, and to be honest, I'm not sure this strap will last very long. On my 6 and 7 8 inch wrist, the watch wears big. I mean, it really doesn't feel like a dress watch, and that's the big problem for me. The case needs to be smaller and slimmer. Look, I can get over the fact that the case doesn't have any brushing, and that the movement looks a little ugly, and that the crown is huge, but I simply can't pull off this watch. I'm confident Baltani can slim down this case, and when they do, I will be all over this one, as the dial and mono pusher feature are incredible at this price point. Overall, I think this is a cool watch for someone that likes bigger watches. Otherwise, you may want to sit this one out. Let me know what you guys think of this watch, the mono pusher complication, and dress watches in general. Are you a fan? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Until next time, be safe out there, and stay humble.